When I tell people that I am actually a statistical analyst, they be like, Wait a minute! Who are you? Do you mean data analyst? And I'm like, I'm actually a statistical analyst. It has actually gotten to the point that when I want to go for an event and I tell them I am a statistical analyst, they mistakenly or unknowingly actually put the word data analyst. Some even go as far as calling me a statistician. So in this video, which I can also see as a rant video, I'll be telling the difference between a data analyst and a statistical analyst based on what they do, how they do their thing, the types of tools that they use, and some other things you need to know. So without further ado, let's get into the video properly. So the first thing is for us to define who a data analyst is and a statistical analyst is. So basically, a data analyst is somebody that performs data analysis and a statistical analyst is somebody that performs statistical analysis. Yeah. Okay. Jokes apart, jokes apart, jokes apart. So let me try to define data analysis and statistical analysis. Then from there, we can actually get a grip of what we are actually trying to talk about. Data analysis is the process of cleaning, processing, analyzing, and visualizing data in order to draw out conclusions from that data set to solve real life problems. The process can range from the business field to the educational field, the medical field, the finance field, just to mention a few. So that means uh, a data analyst will actually get data from any field or any sector a statistical analyst on the other hand is also doing something similar to this in the sense that this time they collect data they also analyze this data and uh, in the long run they actually make a conclusion regarding this data to solve real life problems but the difference here is based on the fact that as a statistical analyst you are actually going to be using statistical methods and mathematical methods and models to actually draw insight from your data set and to solve real life problems while a data analyst on the other hand does not necessarily have to use statistical methods or mathematical methods to actually draw insight and uh, you know get conclusions from data set most times as a data analyst you really don't need to source for data set they just have to give you a data set and the first step after getting your data set is to actually just clean the data set and make it get ready for data analysis a statistical analyst on the other hand can actually um, how say the word perform survey and conduct experiments to actually extract uh, data from either a population or a sample which i can reference to based on the primary source or the secondary source giving us the primary data or the secondary data so a statistical analyst must know how to sample meaning how to extract the right amount of sample from a population so that is where the concept of sampling the probabilistic sampling comes inside and the non probability sampling method so a data analyst does not necessarily need to know how to extract a sample from a population to get data but a statistical analyst must know how to extract the perfect sample from a population now a data analyst must know how to clean data and that is because most of the data sets that a da will be getting would actually be consisting of errors and duplicates and all of those uh, little little things so it only makes sense that when a da gets their data set they actually go straight in cleaning the data set most times as a statistical analyst this data you are getting may not contain so much error i'm not saying you won't have errors or duplicating your data set but it's usually so minimal that just a single click can actually just eliminate this error so an SA does not really clean data the way a DA will actually clean data so let's not talk about analyzing data so a DA most times use basic descriptive statistics and a bit of inferential statistics to actually analyze their data set so they can be visualizing with uh, the bar chart you know we have to talk about the measure of central tendency measure of dispersion they just describe the data set and get little details about the data set to make conclusions an essay on the other hand is going to like be using a lot of mathematical models and statistical models you know statistical inferences time series analysis you know just to mention a few to actually get insight from the data set so in simple terms an SA is actually uh, a DA that uses a whole lot of mathematics and statistics in their analysis I think that's kind of like makes sense to a degree so it simply implies that whenever you want to become a data analyst uh, the basic knowledge of mathematics is actually enough like the basic linear algebra 
and arithmetic now the statistics that you also need for data analysis is not really that much it's not something too intensive uh between the basics is enough for you you know as a data analyst and if you want to become one of the best in the game then you should learn between the intermediate down to the advanced level of statistics by advanced i'm talking about things like the time series analysis the forecasting analysis and the spectral analysis and that is if you are actually more of financial analysis do you understand that in the long run after having all of this a da would actually actually make a dashboard and communicate with the stakeholder so a dashboard is like a summary of all the things you've actually done removing all the mathematical terms and all of the mathematical jargons just to uh, make sense to the stakeholders the people that you are actually uh, going to report to okay you are assuming that these people do not have any sort of mathematical background so you want to like explain the best way you can uh, an SA on the other hand does not necessarily have to create dashboard in fact they don't create dashboard dashboard so they will obviously make a report a technical report about the uh the uh, the data or whatever they've done they may now work hand in hand with a data analyst or a data visualizer to actually convert this technical report that has a lot of mathematical jargons like the p-value the kinds with the test statistics and convert it into something uh that a layman can actually understand so one way or the other the statistical analyst and the data analyst they kind of actually work hand in hand because whenever you are analyzing data sets and there is a mathematics or a statistics that backs up your claim it actually have uh, the school feeling and it makes you you know so happy so in simple terms uh, the data analyst and the statistical analyst are not totally different from each other at the same time they have a lot of things in common now let's talk about the tools that each of those guys are, can actually use and since a data analysis is basically more of uh, data claiming data analysis descriptive analysis to be precise and uh, data visualization so tools like uh, excel will be needed excel is actually a spreadsheet that can do a lot of things they will also be needing the likes of power bi and uh, we have what we call uh tableau also and they will also need to learn uh, how to use SQL and SQL is actually uh, a coding programming language that can be used to query database. So to a certain degree also, uh, a DA must also know how to extract uh, data sets from a database where in fact a statistical analyst may not feel like learning that but when an SA wants to also learn SQL to query database it's a plus for him. So it feels like the skill that a DA has that an SA does not have uh and the essay can learn it and just have it as a plus and the same thing goes with the da learning some skills that an essay is supposed to have so it's like you trying to learn one thing to just up your skill so in summary excel sql power bi tableau and if you now want to up your game you can actually learn python or r for a statistical analyst okay the tools you are actually going to be focusing on and want to learn will start with excel obviously i, I always advise anyone to learn excel irrespective of uh, your field in the data space excel is one powerful tool that you obviously need to learn so microsoft excel first then spss spss is one powerful statistical tool by ibm that you know any statistical analyst should know how to use then after spss you should learn r r is one programming tool that can do a whole lot of things but statistical analysis is one of the strong hold of r so after learning spss and excel r is the next thing you have to learn you can also learn a couple of other tools sa tools like we have minitab we have starter we have sas and uh, just to mention a few if you want to add business intelligence to your sa skills then you can actually learn power bi or tableau you know and it's simple as that so when it comes to searching for job you can also learn python now python can also perform statistical analysis but it cannot do it the same way r would be because r was kind of like made for statistical analysis so where can you learn data analysis or statistical analysis so the honest truth is that right now the data field is actually uh, a self-learning field meaning we really don't have a lot of universities out out there that gives a uh, bsc or msc in sa or da so you actually have to like go to sites like coursera udemy and just buy some course consume these courses and materials and then you know you work on projects and uh you know you start doing your thing we have sites like datacam coursera udemy where you can actually learn all of those skills for just a token but you know you can still try to find a couple of them that can get you certified after learning the skills so in simple terms there is quite a difference between a statistical analyst 
and a data analyst but in the long run they actually have a lot of things that combine them together and they usually work hand in hand in the long run in the sense that you can actually learn the tool of a da as a as an sa and um, vice versa if you like this video and you also enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel do you need a roadmap to actually become a data analyst i actually have a video uh, right here that i'll be linking to help you out or do you need to learn statistical analysis via spss i also have a playlist right here that can actually help you out so thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now